hello everyone now we are seeing an experiment called mos test the aim of this experiment is to conduct mos test on given multi cylinder petrol or diesel engine in order to determine the indicated power developed in e cylinder of the engine and to determine the frictional power the operators used here are it should be a multi cylinder engine whether it is a petrol or diesel engine or it may have a three cylinder or four cylinder here in this experiment we are considering a four cylinder engine and next we need to have a dynamo meter for various load conditions or loading arrangements the procedure of this experiment is as follows the engine need to run at required speed and the torque is measured in terms of a newton meter then the cylinder is cut out by shorting the spark plug in case of petrol engine and you need to stop the fuel supply to the injectors in case of diesel engine once the cut out has been done you can see the fluctuation with respect to speeds the speed is going to be reduced because of loss of power with respect to cut out in cylinders and this time the torque need to be measured again once the speed has reached its critical or original value then the value of indicated power is measured for all the cylinders in this method the bp of whole engine first to be measured at certain speed and load with the help of a dynamometer then the output is measured by keeping the speed constant the difference in output of measure of indicated power with respect to disconnecting cylinders can be noticed thus for each cylinder the ip is obtained and then is added together to find the total indicated power of the engine now you can see the terminology is uh, used for the calculation purpose uh, bp is brake power ip is indicated power and fp is frictional power let fp of cylinder 1 2 3 4 that is for all the four cylinders will be named as f1 f2 f3 f4 the total of fp is the sum of individual frictional powers similarly it is followed for ip as well the indicated power equals i1 i2 i3 i4 for all the four cylinders then we know the relation between bp ip and fp that is bp equals total ip minus total fp so it can be written in terms of equation number 1 when cylinder 1 is cut off the first cylinder is cut off the bp developed by the remaining three cylinders can be written as b1 equal to instead of i1 i have written as zero because first cylinder cut off takes place there is no power developed inside the cylinder 1 there is no indicated power with respect to cylinder 1 so it has been termed as zero then other i2 i3 i4 will be same whereas the frictional power terms is going to remain same because even the first cylinder cut off takes place there is no power also with respect to first cylinder but there will be a frictional losses due to the movement of piston so the f1 f2 f3 f4 is going to remain constant subtracting equation number 2 minus 1 that is b minus b1 will be giving i1 so that is ip1 or i1 is nothing but b minus b1 here b stands for the total brake power where all the four cylinders are in working condition b1 stands for the brake power when only the three cylinders except the cut off one whatever the other three cylinders are working that is to be considered as b1 so similarly you can find out the ip of second cylinder by cutting off the second cylinder then i3 i4 like that 
तो ऑल इंडिविजुअल एड अप्स ऑफ द इंडिकेटेड टर्म्स इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी द टोटल आई पी ऑफ इंजिन एंड फाइनली द फ्रिक्शनल पवर कैन बी टर्म्ड एज द फ्रिक्शनल पवर एफ पी इक्वल्स आई पी माइनस बी पी हेलो अरुण सो नो वी आर गोइंग टू कंडक्ट ए मोस्ट टेस्ट मोस्ट टेस्ट ऑन मल्टी सिलिंडर डीजल इंजिन सो वन ऑफ द मेन फैक्टर इज टू कंडक्ट द मोस्ट टेस्ट द इंजिन शुड बी ऑलवेज ए मल्टी सिलिंडर इंजिन If it is a single cylinder engine, we cannot uh, perform the MOS test on that. So MOS test is always applicable only for multi-cylinder engine, whether it is petrol engine or diesel engine. It should be a multi-cylinder engine. The aim of conducting this experiment is to find out or to determine the FP and IP, that is frictional power and indicated power. so here you can see here this is a four cylinder diesel engine of course it is a multi cylinder engine there are four injectors you can notice so from that uh, you can come to conclusion that it is a four cylinder engine it is a mechanical injectors what we are using for this experiment okay so for uh, more experiment uh, we are focusing on two parameters one is the load and another one is the speed so here you can see here the test trick uh, that is common for all the engines almost and uh, this is called as the hydraulic dynamometer hydraulic dynamometer is used for loading purpose in multi cylinder engine so where you can increase or decrease the load accordingly by rotating the wheel of the hydraulic dynamometer and uh, you can see and uh, you can see the same thing with respect to speed and load here on the mechanical test rig okay so to carry out the experiment first what we are doing is we are going to run all the four cylinders together without cut off first you find out bp that is called as total brake power then afterwards what we should do is to cut off the one cylinder then again we need to find out bp then cut off the second cylinder then third cylinder and uh, fourth cylinder like that that make sure that once you are cutting off the one cylinder other three cylinders should be working otherwise the engine will not start so once you can cut off the cylinder you can notice the fluctuations with respect to speed then you should bring back the speed to the original position by decreasing the load from hydraulic dynamometer okay that is what we are going to see now we will be starting the experiment just take a look
like that how we are going to conduct uh, the most text experiment. The ultimate aim or objective is going to find out the fictional power or indicated power. Okay. So once you know the BP, then you can find out the other powers from the relationship we don't know. We know that IP is equal to BP plus FP. So from that you cannot you can always